Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. Plan A. Come out, see if I can find my big pilchards, get a bucket load, and run out to the reef and drift the outside edge looking for pelagics. Problem, not finding any pilchards in my spots. Actually, I came up with a new plan. Mullet, forgot all about these dang things. They're ruining my visibility for regular fishing, but I didn't even think about it. But I'm going to see if I can get some finger mullet, and that will be even better. Instead of running the last five miles for nothing, see if I could spot any movement here and throw on them. I think right up in here probably works. Looking for little dimples of bubbles and little flicks. I think there's some bubbles there. Man, big old ones. I don't want you. See what size they are. Uh, good flashes. Got volume. Uh, they might be okay size. I might not need mullet. Yeah, there's some decent sized ones in there. I think we're good to go then. Let that mullet jump out of there. You can get out of there. Alrighty, we're back to plan A. I got my pilchards. Hello, guys. They're not the big sandies I was wanting, but this way I can carry more, so we'll see if that helps. I think there's a couple of uh, mullets sitting on the bottom, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to test this out as well as running my bucket full of water in the front well there. That'll keep the front down and the back up. Uh, a lot of times with the weight in the back, it submarines the back and then it causes a lot of drag. Plus, I get water leakage into my rudder lines and then it fills up with water. So we're going to give this a shot. Looks like it's going to turn out to a beautiful evening. I used up about a third of my fishing time chasing this bait, so that's not good, but got it now. So let's head out onto the reef. Side of the reef. Uh, I think I'm gonna do is start trolling my way out to the bar, the secondary reef. Uh, I bought the old noodle rod and I've already got a wire set ready to go. So I think I'm just gonna put the uh, mullet on now. Just get rid of that, get that out of the bucket. Once I get settled, I'll uh, put on one of the pilchards on the second line, maybe run it with the uh, cobra jigs and have it mid water column. So. That is our plan. So what I'm gonna do is try to get those mullet out. They jump, so gotta be very careful so I don't lose them. No sudden movements. Once I got them, grab them. Just get them out of there. Alrighty, my hook. Got about uh, six inches of uh, wire trace, number three wire. It's gonna put it through the mouth and out the top there, and it can still breathe. Send this boy out. And then I'm gonna bump troll him out to the ocean. I think something's on here. There we go. Oh, pulled it. Oh. I think it's still on there. Yeah, there's got to be something on there. 
Or is it just my mullet? What the hell? Something grabbed it and let go. What the hell? It grabbed it and let go. Dang it, killed it. All right, let's send a pilcher down to the bottom and see what's down there. Swim, baby. That was a quarter ounce. I might have to, uh, well, it's taking it down. I'm not too deep right now, about 63. That pilchard is able to keep that weight from just straight dropping down, so that's not a bad thing, especially if we're just gonna drift. Marking a lot of stuff down there. I saw some mackerels. I think they're just biting my pilchards off. Yeah. There we go. Oh, it came off or he cut me off. Yeah, bunch of cereal mackerels. <sniffs> Dang it. Man, look at that school. Coming through there. What do we got? Oh, golly. Little cobia. I want a big cobia. There you go. He's all angry in sorts. All right. Baby cobia grow up. Need you to be a bigger cobia. Yeah, that's all the trigger fish. Angel fish, trigger fish. I'm smelling a yellowtail. No, oh. ah, blue runner. Dang it. Wow, that could be bait. Yeah, you're gonna be bait. Oh no. Oh no. Bait, bait, bait. Go catch something. Man, look at all that life below me. <laughs> look, 
Look what it's doing to my screen. Think there's any fish around? Yellow Jack. Alrighty, for the last hour of light I've got, I think I'm gonna troll around with the paddle tails. Got the two and five eighths there with the quarter ounce uh, Cobra jig head. And I've got the one ounce with the four inch paddle tail there. Uh, that I'm pretty sure will get some bites in the evening time. I'm seeing some birds by the reef, so that will be able to allow me to cover some ground. Big fish just did not happen with the two mullet and then the blue runner. So, what can you do? Troll. Ah, little Ciro. Little dinky Ciro. Man, I didn't think they got that small. Alrighty, calling it a day. Ah, uh, wanted to make sure I got inside the reef before the sunset. Beautiful sunset there. But today, I mean, gorgeous day for fishing, but man, just could not click with anything. Uh, Took a long time to get those pilchards, but I uh, did find those. Have to work out a better plan than that. I don't have a lot of free time with this 5.30 sunset. But uh, not a lot of action outside for the big toothy critters I was looking for. Uh, lost both those mullet that I took out there. Just wasn't sure what got them. And uh, even a blue runner for nothing. But didn't see a lot of activity, so not sure. This tide is still doing that funky east to west, which is backwards. I think that kind of funks thing up, but uh, we'll have to see. I'll check out the report, see what everybody else did. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.